It was y'all who told us the games weren't connected. Hiroshi. So what is going on here, fam? <laughs> Boys. I found some stuff. A month ago, we were talking about God Eater 4. Eight months ago, we was on that Code Vein sequel pack, which actually just surpassed 2 million total sales. At this point, it is still a running controversy as to whether these two games are connected or not. I myself have an 18 minute video talking about the countless connections between the two games, but it's funny because shortly after that video, I came to my own personal realization that I don't think they're connected, right? They told us they weren't, but I still think it's like just Easter egg, something more of like it's the same world, but two different universes that we experienced. And I was pretty adamant on this standpoint until a few weeks ago. Now listen, bro, I met the producer of Covain, shook his hand, interviewed him, all that jazz. But where in the world did my man Hiroshi Yoshimura come from? How do I, how am I just realizing of this guy just now? I don't know what's going on, but I stumbled upon him a couple weeks ago, randomly on Twitter. And let me tell you, this guy has been taking me on a trip ever since. <laughs> so if we look at his bio, we see that he is the director, the director of Covain and the general director of God Eater. This is gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I think he got something to tell us. August 26th. More specifically, August 28th, when I found his tweet. Summer vacation work. There is no sense of discomfort. Hashtag code vein, hashtag God eater. What really made this whole situation just insane for me was the fact that just the day before, we had gotten the first pulse <laughs> from Digimon Survive. We had not heard about this game in any capacity forever besides this, right? So I was just juiced up in this moment, as you can see by my caps. <laughs> it was y'all who told us the games weren't connected. Hiroshi. So what is going on here, fam? Why is Code Vein being typed out in God Eater text? I don't know, man. This just, just shocked me. I'm like, yo, what is, what are you doing over there, you little jokester, man? I'm on to you, bruh. Now that I found you, you on my radar. I'm watching you, bruh, I'm watching you, man. Y'all know me, man. Overthink man jam. Mr. It ain't that deep. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you know what I did? I started creeping heavy. I started looking through all his shit. Everything. While nothing specific is being said in his tweets. What you're gonna find is my man is in the midst, deep in the midst of the creative process. And he's basically been using Twitter as like a public diary per se, sharing his thoughts and his emotions. And for me, this is cool stuff. Hence this video. August 29th is where our story begins. Hiroshi reminisces on how during God of the 2's development, due to his immaturity, the game was almost canceled. But at the time, he received a letter from a fan who was suffering from the earthquake. At this point, my own curiosity kicked in. You know, I was curious, like, what earthquake are they talking about? God of the 2 was back in 2013. So I think and I suspect that we're referring to the 2011 earthquake and tsunami that hit Japan. That shit had a magnitude of 9.1. So that was some serious shit. I think I vaguely remember that time because it was a big, 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 big moment on the news. The letter said, I'm having a hard time. But if I think about so much Shiksu, I can do my best. Seeing that, I realized once again that the existence I created gives courage and power to someone I have never met. It was this letter that basically woke Hiroshi up. And from here, he was determined to ensure the product is as good as it can be, not for the company and not for any one individual at the company, but for the fans who have come to adore his works. And to end it off, he says he's tackling new challenges with his reliable colleagues. And it is good to mention at this point, if you watch my recent Freedom Wars video, we learned that God of the 2 is like the best selling Sony exclusive in Japan, beating games like Bloodborne and The Last of Us 2, right? That is big. And to think that it almost got canceled. It's just interesting to see. And it was right before this thread, these series of tweets, you know, about the story that he had posted this image 
around Soma and his inner origami, which comes from Gladiator 3. If you'll notice, the tweet got quite a bit of attention. And this is really where that story came about. He was just intrigued by the love that he saw of Soma, and he's reminded about that letter he got back in 2011. September 3rd, he talks about how game development is hard, but he's gonna ensure that he does his best. And that was followed by a 4 a.m. tweet basically saying when you're engrossed in making something you lose your sense of time again on the 7th he says games are still difficult today but this time he adds the more you think about it the better you will get believe it don't stop be tenacious and as a creator man i'm telling you these type of words just echo in your head it's things that you have to remind yourself when you're feeling down when things get tough and you want to quit september 10th he has a little bit of an interesting tweet here he says continuing twitter I think that all human beings are creatures who want to express their feelings at midnight. That is, I want to make something even more amazing. The way I read this as just a late night tweet and he's just feeling inspired. A lot of his tweets are late night and I really think that's when his mind is going, going, going. He just wants to share his mindset. Fast forwarding to the 23rd and I think he's happy with his storyboard and now he's moving on to character design. And in this tweet, he references Code Vein and God Eater, but nothing too deep. If you didn't know, Code Vein's anniversary is the 26th of September in Japan. So after the 23rd, his series of tweets are basically talking about their anniversary and then about how they hit 2 million units sold worldwide. But then we see on the 27th, he has a peculiar tweet here. As we can tell from his previous tweets, he's deep in that process of creating a new game. And so he says, while trying to create this new game and then also having to celebrate his previous work success, he feels a little weird. Don't be afraid of achievements. Don't rush and be positive. We will work diligently on manufacturing. He's referring to the game. And he says, if you take it seriously, it will be interesting. Believe that. And this is another area where I just relate so much, bro. Especially when it comes to YouTube. It's such a quick game, bro. I work endless hours on a video, upload it. As soon as that shit is live, I have about couple hours to just kind of see what happens see the reception and then it's on to the next one it's like what is my next move and i tend to not take time to appreciate what i've created and what i've created in the past as well i'm so focused and stressed on what am i going to do next and what am i going to do in the future and i'm in that state right now but like he says if you take it seriously it'll be interesting believe that honestly there's a lot of other interesting tweets that he made even back 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 july 7th he was asking people how they felt about multiple endings that code vein had and he was getting some opinions right but if we actually went through all of his tweets we would be here all day so what does this all mean you know why why am i making a video about it firstly like i said it's just very very intriguing to me and i relate to some of the tweets that he's saying but overall bro you know it all started with his code vein guider mesh and I just have this question of like, what are you making, my guy? What are you making, Code Vein or God Eater? Because it could be both. <laughs> As we've talked in our previous sequel discussions for both of these titles, I know for a fact that one something new is being made in the works, whether it started yet or it's being planned, whatever. I know that there will be a four and there will be some continuation of Code Vein in any some capacity. But Hiroshi has me confused, like I said, right? Combining those two those two things, the, the, the name Covain and then within the font of God Eater. Like, are y'all putting the two franchises together like some people suspect? I have a very, very hard time believing that. I really do. And ultimately, I can't see God Eater development coming back to shift, right? They just finally sent their child off to college to fend for himself and on his own just to bring him back home. I don't know. Maybe he failed and wanted to come back. I don't know, you know? So if anything, I would just guess that he's probably working on this continuation of Code Vein. But, you know, anything can be possible. And the fact that he's the director for both, the directors are mainly more of the, he doesn't say creative, but I don't think they use that title so much in Japan. So, but no matter what, it more so means the writing, you know, the overarching stuff like the storyboarding as we saw him talk about so he could very well be working on both but that also doesn't seem too likely to be both at the same time right so it's, i feel like it's got to be one or the other but ultimately this is something we don't know all we know is one of the two is in the works 100 right so i'm curious and i want to ask y'all which one would you guys prefer he's in the works making? Obviously, we have some Code Vein centered fans who've never touched God Eater and vice versa. But just let me know. And I guess I'd be more interested in the people that are like both to kind of know which, you guys, which one you guys would, uh, would prefer. But again, I think I would like to see Code Vein 
uh, the way Code Vein ended, it was kind of complete. So whatever this is, is going to be like a whole new story, whereas God of 3 would be more of a continuation. So I'm just like more interested in seeing what new things, new ideas they would bring to the table for Code Vein. Although I do have that thought for God Eater, I just feel like they're going to stay and be complacent. So I'm interested in Code Vein, you know, but let me know what you guys would preference, right? Let me know. Let me know. But other than that, man, that's all I kind of had. I kind of wanted this to be uh, not personal, but I don't know. I just wanted this to have more of a chill laid back vibe of a video. Um, so let me know how y'all felt if y'all liked the video.